Hello and welcome to my Beagle Standard Build Log. I'm Dieter and a couple of videos ago I was referring to maybe a little surprise. Well, here it is. I present the base of my printer. This base will actually hide the cables from the power supply which I housed in this casing. Uh, they will go underneath the base to the printer so you don't see them and it looks nice and tidy. Uh, it houses the, um, the spool holders which are adjustable for different size spools and hopefully in the end uh, I will be able to uh, build an enclosure around it using this edge to secure uh, the walls. I didn't video the process of building it, but I did take a lot of pictures, so I will share them with you in a slideshow. Hopefully you like it. Uh, I will be building the printer on this, and uh, let's see how it looks. So now you've seen how I built the base, now it's time to put the printer on the base. Before I started this video I already taped the bars with some black insulation tape to prevent scratching for, from these hooks and also to provide just a little bit of vibration dampening and I also uh, put a couple of little rubber feet like this stuff which is from surplus IKEA uh, furniture underneath the uh, base of the printer just to provide a little bit of uh, vibration dampening just in case. Now the hooks are in, just checking if there's no wires stripped or snagged, no, okay. We tighten the, this uh, thing down with a washer and a nut. Now we'll only hand tighten these because otherwise you run the risk of inadvertently warping the frame, which is obviously not good. So there you have it. It's nice and sturdy now. I think it looks good. As you can see, spool holder on top. I have a nice little switch here to switch it on and off. A Euro connector here for the mains and the filament will eventually go from the spool right up to the extruder and then out on top right to the hot end. I like it and that's it for this video so I would say bye.